Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. As you can see, I am in a pretty darn cool spot down here at the Funtown RV Superstore down at their campground. Beautiful morning here in Texas. And today I'm gonna show you the 2023 Cedar Creek 360 RL. This is one of Cedar Creek's rear living floor plans. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. It's also gonna be on a 23 clearance special. So if you guys are in the market for an RV, I'll drop the link for the price down in the description along with all the specifications and it should pop up on the screen. But man, I hope you guys are having a day as good as mine. It is uh, surrounded by cool trees. The clouds are looking nice. The camper's just shining like justice out here. But I'm gonna do a shorter tour today. Uh, go through the inside first, and then around the outside. If you guys find some value in what I'm doing, help me reach my goal of 75,000 subscribers here in 2024. I would greatly appreciate you. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, it's the 2023 Cedar Creek 360 RL. Now I've been in and out of Cedar Creeks, you know, for the better part of the last six years. They're one of my more trusted brands. I think they just look beautiful. At the tail, at the beginning of 23, they went over this overhaul where they went light and bright and it is going very well for them. It's absolutely beautiful. They also break up, you know, some of that light with not only the appliances, but like some darker kind of accents here or there. I just think it looks really sharp. They also got a new island for 23 as well, where you see it's got the little cutout right there and um, there's accent lighting, but you also get this little flip up counter and they've got those little legs right here that you can stand it up to make like, I don't know, maybe like a nice little breakfast area or somewhere where you can sit down and just kind of chill. You know, extra space never hurt anybody. And I like how they are doing that. Two slides in this unit. Uh, this one's going to be your cooking and entertainment slide. This one is going to be, you know, your seating slide. So one thing that I do enjoy about Cedar Creek, it's a higher end camper. You're going to get higher end finishes. It's also full profile. So I am six feet tall with pretty average sized arms. And you can see I can't even reach up to the ceiling. So it does not feel stuffy in here one bit. Also the slides, they're going to be the flush mount slides. So you're going to get no carpet, but you're also going to get about six, seven or so uh, for the head clearance. So even if you're a taller person, you're ready to rock. This table is set up for two, but you can make it for four. There is an extension where you can pull it out, you know, play some cards, have some breakfast. Each one of these windows are going to be tinted and they all open up for a nice breeze. Plus they feature the old day shade and the night shade, the half drac and the full Dracula mode. Vo vinyl woven material. And again, it's flush mount, meaning it's nice and flat. That's why you're going to get a lot of that height power theater seating directly across from your entertainment section with the stainless steel cup holders in an area where you can plug in a phone with a USB cord as well. This is going to be the view that you're going to get while sitting at your recliner. You get a little fireplace just for a nice kind of, you know, kind of homey feel, but it also is a fancy electric space heater. So essentially it'll put up enough heat to heat the entirety of this room on even a chilly day. The Cedar Creek also has thicker walls than average too. So you're looking at about two inch thick walls there as well, you know, which is nice, better insulation, longer camping, earlier camping, however you want to do it. This back sofa right here, it does pull out to make a queen size bed, which is nice. So it'll come up to probably right about there. And it's a great place to sleep your guests. It's normally a couple's coach, but you got the ability to sleep the grandkids. Windows all back here, again, all open up and you get some really nice overhead storage and it's much larger uh, than normal. You know, right here, you got the glass insert. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. You also get the wood finish here. And I like how they went with the black instead of the bronze that a lot of people, you know, are using these days. Now this storage is a little bit high. So for the vertically challenged, you're gonna wanna either step up on a step stool or use the, the sofa there. But that's gonna be a perfect place for like, you know, blankets, board games, things of that nature. You also notice you get accent lighting above each one of the slides. I just think that is pretty darn sharp just to make a nice little ambient glow. Again, a homey feel. Some people are using this as a home, you know, whether it's a couple months out of the year or full time. And so having stuff like that just makes it a little bit nicer. Uh, underneath the TV, which is on a swivel, by the way, you do get this little countertop, uh, which I don't know, maybe it's just aesthetics or maybe you want to put some controllers on there or some little plants, who knows, but behind, you get a little hidden storage nook, which is perfect. Again, you know, I, I'd probably make this kind of like my board game, books, 
you know, things like that. You also got a little, you know, magazine style rack right there too, which is just added storage, you know, added convenience. Solid surface countertops all throughout this unit, which is really nice. And I think they crushed it with the pattern here. Also on the 23s, they actually widened up this. When they changed that island, they made the island about two inches thicker um, or wider, I'm saying rather, uh, which is a nice feature to have. You know, again, more space to kind of prep up and it doesn't get in the way of your walk around room. You still got plenty of that. Outlet here on this side, if you want to plug something in, you're also going to get four drawers. Uh, they're all going to be looking the same and this is kind of removable uh, for your utensils. You also see there, it's going to be on that soft close. Stainless steel undermounted bowl, and I like how it's going to be that splits, maybe like a dry and a wet zone. You also got the whoosh, 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 hitting those dish o roonies from all over, and that thing's running from. <laughs> ah, they hire me because I'm friendly. Pretty clean cut storage down here, too. I like how they box that in, but that's where you can also access your plumbing. Right behind the. Uh, why am I blanking out? The sink. Again, a lot of usable cooking space and countertop space. You know, maybe blenders, Keurigs, who knows? Maybe an Instapot. I don't know. I like crock potting. Maybe you do too. But you're going to see you get a lot of storage over here. Storage all over the place. The other side is going to have, you know, pretty much equal storage as well. It's just in the form of the pull-out drawers. Insignia Microwave with storage all up and around, all pretty much looking just like that. And then you have the Insignia refrigerator too. This is gonna to be a 20 cubic foot residential refrigerator. This is gonna be key for those longer stays. You can put a week's worth of groceries in this thing. Absolutely no problem. And you also got the split zone for um, the freezer. That center partition is adjustable as well. If you wanna take it out you know, or anything of that, you're more than welcome to do so. Back here, you got a perfect place for a drunk drawer. You also get a little extra countertop space with another outlet. You got a light, and I like the way that the backsplash is looking, you know, as well. Bada bing, bada boom. A little pull out with your garbage can, and then more storage there to the right. Up here, you're going to have a lot of storage there as well. And to the left, more of the same. Flip it around. I mean, look at that lighting fixture above there. You also see the fan. This is gonna be your speaker system, which you can hook up to via Bluetooth if you would like. And I also like the fact that they use um, the, the Myra app or the Firefly, depending on if you're using your phone or just the kind of inner workings of the RV. But basically it's just a touch screen and everything is really coded out really well. And anytime you see this little arrow, that means that the lights are gonna be on a dimmer. And all you gotta do is click and hold, and then hopefully the camera picks it up. But the kitchen lights are dimming down pretty good, and now I'm bringing them back up to brightness. But that is pretty darn neat. And then also, they do have manual controls as well. Let me see here. And you notice again, it has those up and down arrows, which again means that you can dim. So if you wanna be, you know, if you're sitting here and you just want to dim it on the dinette while you're having breakfast, you're able to do that. Uh, all the slides are also going to be color coded. So, you know, you don't even have to read all that well to understand that. You know, green are those <laughs> the two in the back. Red is going to be your awning. How simple is that? It's going to be your solar charge controller. So you got maybe one or two panels. I can't quite remember. They're up on top. But it lets you know what kind of amperage that they're pulling in. So that way, you know, you can see how effectively your battery is charging up just by the sun. You know, maybe if you're boondocking. You also got your inverter buttons going to be right there. Your remote control uh, on off switch, which will run that refrigerator, you know, while you're traveling. Cordless vac. So all you do is put your foot right there. You lift it up. And you got a vacuum in your camper just to go ahead and do that. You can also hook up a hose. You notice you got a little light and a grab handle. Heading up into uh, one of the more beautiful uh, bathrooms that you got in the RV industry. I just love it. I like the white. I like the hexagonal pattern that they got that's missing a couple areas here and there that just looks super sharp. You also get accent lighting across the mirror. It's a perfect place to check out bowling guns or brush your teeth with a splash proof sink. Porcelain throne. So even if you're a big guy or gal, uh, you're sitting down with comfort and you have a really nice size shower here as well. 
which is a one-piece fiberglass with the fancy pants four ports where water spits out I've always imagined that it just be would be nice you got four of these cubbies here too for your towels and whatnot little fantastic fan you got one of those in the kitchen too and then here in the bedroom you got yourself a king bed a little bit of storage up here underneath as well it's all on that strut system so you don't have to worry about it hands free there and if you want to you can put a queen on this it is cut out for a queen um, so you're able to make that switch you know pretty seamlessly dresser drawers with the accent lighting and then you also get a little bit of hidden storage here too and there's going to be six of these so you got plenty of room for all your boxers and all that good stuff emergency exit pull push and plop you can get out in a hurry along with an insignia tv that's sitting on an angle that makes it more conducive to an easier viewing experience the coleman mock for the ac so if you want to disproportionately push that cool air you know into this you are able to so added insulation bigger and better acs uh just really got it going on the cedar creek is again just one of those brands you know that i really like something that i could see myself buying once i eventually uh, kick all the kids out me and the wife are traveling full-time maybe even turn this channel into a traveling channel who knows windows open up you also get countertops along with outlets and then you got usbs right there too outlet outlet and then right here you got a big old mirror which i love that the wife would love it getting dressed you also get washer and dryer prep which is pretty darn snazzy and when you're not if you don't have a washer and dryer in there you got this whole open area if you want to put a dryer vent basically you're just going to remove that bottom area it slides right in there and then you can cut the hole right through there oh there's a picture of it cool so that gives you the good little view but big old hanging rack but all right guys i think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of the store again this is the 2023 cedar creek 360 rl and if you guys have made it this far if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button for me i would greatly appreciate it that is for sure. Man, that's just a good looking camper. So all the specifications, including the price, will be down in the description. Heading around the outside, first thing that I notice, frameless windows. Again, they are tinted in massive, massive, massive pass-through storage. I mean, I could easily go into that, or if I'm bringing the kids, bring some sleeping bags, sleep on out there, have a great time. You know, you are ready to rock. You also notice that it's held together by the bolts there, which is a little bit more desirable uh, than the weld, just because it has a little bit of an adjustment point. You know, if you're if you're moving, it's got a little bit of a stress where it can bump, as opposed to you know going down the road, you know, a little bit stiffer. Two propane bottles, a little leash latch for your furry friend. You're also going to get a propane disconnect right there, quick connect. So if you want to hook up a grill out here, you're able to do that. Six-point hydraulic auto leveling, heated and enclosed underbelly, and a massive awning right here, too, with the LED lights. So you're really going to be able to utilize this campground side, which is nice. But let's just step back for a second. I love the silver around the Cedar Creek, how it's kind of reflective. I just think this is a really good-looking camper, not only inside, you know, but outside as well. Beautiful on the outside, beautiful on the inside, just like my lovely wife. Aww. Dual axle with the tire pressure monitoring system. So it's going to be the TST. If you're not familiar with that, you basically get a little screen. So when you're driving down the road, it lets you know if you're overinflated or underinflated. If you got if your temperature is a little bit too hot uh, on the tire and the rep told me about two years ago, it's always stuck in my brain that since they implemented that blowouts on RVs have gone down over 70 percent which is pretty nice it also shows a lot of people are driving pretty crazy and don't know that their tires are heating up that's where you get all that stuff on those forms so right here you got a little hitch so you can put up some extra storage you also have that backup camera which is nice you get a four inch screen when you're driving down the road so you can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers it also has uh i believe on that one a one-way mic but i'll have to double check it looks like the fury on to me you also get the uh, ladder prep so if you want to get on top of your roof it's about 300 bucks from Lippert but you snap that on and you get on top check your seals check your slides the two on the two slides over here on this side are both eligible for a slide topper which is basically a piece of awning that goes from here to here and it really protects the top of your unit top of your slide so if you're underneath a tree like this and a tree branch decides to float down and make its home on top of your slide 
when you close that in, it'll crunch the seal. If you have the slide topper, it sits on it, then as it closes, it rolls off the top. Spare tire, right there, good little view. They're also using the rib armor, which I didn't know that. So that is pretty neat. So basically that's gonna be six foot paneling. So if you were to ever have something uh, you know, go on where you need to do some maintenance, maybe you gotta drop a tank, or maybe you're adding, I don't know, extra tank heaters or something. Instead of taking out the whole underbelly, you can take it off in sections, which it definitely does save you money uh, because it lowers those times, the time of uh, maintenance basically. You have the road armor suspension. So if you're not familiar with that, I don't wanna bore you too much. Um, but it's basically just nicer suspension, smoother ride when you're driving down the road, a little bit less bumpy. Sewer outlet connection right here. So that's going to be where you're going to be draining the old, uh, the old stinky slinky. And this is the back end of that pass through storage where you got a power easy cord reel, which is nice. Essentially you just put your cord reel in there, flip that button and it reels it up for you. And this is going to be your docking station. So you have your battery disconnect, your different uh, tank valves, your hydraulic controls. So if you're um, pulled off, you know, on the side of the road and you only want to open up, you know, the main slide, um, you just simply turn off the other ones and then pop it open and, you know, you're ready to rock there. Let me turn on those front cap lights. Hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower, all your bypass valves, and there's that black tank flush, which, uh, you know, helps flush out uh, the old poop tank. The other thing that you, they got, metal slam latch doors. So anytime you see a little vent like this, that's going to be for your uh, for your batteries, and that is locked. But that'll have batteries in there, so it'll just um, you know house those. But there's room for four. You also have your controls for your leveling system as well, which again is going to be the six-point hydraulic uh, auto leveling. It's good storage there up front too. Don't need to show you that, but it's basically just an open area, you know, where you can store a bunch of things. But all right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, my name is Hunter, and this is the 2023 Cedar Creek 360RL. Have a good day. See you.